एवरीवन दिस इज नम्रता फ्रॉम आई वी प्रोफेशनल स्कूल एंड वेलकम टू अवर पावर बी आई इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स डिस्कस सम डैक्स रिलेटेड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन टूडे इन दिस वीडियो सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज डैक सो द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ डैक्स इज बेसिकली डेटा एनालिसिस एक्सप्रेशन एंड इट इज यूज टू डू बेसिक कैलकुलेशन एंड डेटा एनालिसिस ऑन दी डेटा इन पावर बी आई सो इट इज more like a formula language which is used to compute calculated column and calculated fields dax works on column values and it cannot modify or insert data so we can create calculated columns and measures with dax but we cannot create calculated rows using dax so let's see an example of using dax so we want to create the total cell so we are going to use the calculate function and the sum of cell sum of from the column in the cells table so what are the different data types used in dax so data types can be numeric boolean date and time string or text and decimal next question what does that diff function do so that diff function basically gives the difference between two dates based on the specified date part what is date part function so date part function it returns the date function as an integer however date name function also does the same thing except it returns the name of that part of that particular date so what is the common table function for grouping data so for grouping the data we can use the summarize function so mainly group by function is used in power bi the recommended practice would be to specify the table and group by columns and not by matrix we can also use the add column functions in power bi what is a calculated column so it is a calculating an expression of dax which allows calculations on the data stored in a new column so what is the speciality or unique about calculate and calculate table these two functions so these are only functions that allow us to modify filter context of measures or tables so we can add to existing filter context of queries override the filter context from queries or remove the existing filter context from queries however it also has some limitations so filter parameters can only operate on a single column at a time and not on multiple columns and filter parameters cannot be referenced as a metric let's see what's the difference between sum and sumx so both sum and sumx are aggregator functions whereas uh, sum works on a single column but sumx can take the entire table as an input sumx has a row context whereas sum doesn't have and sumx is an iterative function whereas sum is not so how is filter function used in power bi so filter function specifically returns a table with a filter condition applied to it for each of its source table rows now generally filter function is rarely used in isolation but it is used as a parameter with other functions like calculate so filter function is also an iterator function and can negatively impact performance over large source tables and complex filtering logic can be implied or applied such as referencing a measure in a filter expression like filter you are calculating suppose total cells but you have a certain condition so how do we put that condition so after calculate the total cells we can use the filter function table name and use that particular field or like cells matrix where can be greater than 500 so that's the condition so we are using a filter function on with the calculate function so in dax we can do year to date and parallel period and such which is great for financial reporting so what are some prerequisites for doing time intelligence so you know what do we exactly need to do use time intelligence in dax so the main requisite is definitely a date table and specifically a continuous date table without any break in dates 
like one, two, three, four, five, six, like that, a continuous basis. Next is we can build a date table using the M language in Power Query Editor, or we can use a DAX. If we already have a date table in our model or data source that we are bringing into Power BI. The second element to use time intelligence function is definitely to create or define the relationship between the date table with other tables in your data model. And we should remember all the dates should be present without any exception and we need a proper relationship for time intelligence function to be used in DAX. So what is the difference between calculated column, calculated table and measures? Let's see first the calculated column. So it can be added to tables by applying the DAX formula on the existing data. Now DAX formulas defines values in new columns rather than querying the data sources. And it is useful when data sources do not contain data presented in desired format or in a particular format. What are calculated tables? So it is also you created using DAX formula. It can be used both in report view and data view. And it majorly works well for intermediate calculations and the data that users want to be stored in the data model. Now measures, measures use other DAX function to create complex calculations. It is used, created both in data view and report view. And measures are used for like highlighting like running totals or cumulative totals, comparing cells, cells forecasting and other purposes. Now suppose we have two tables and we want to put them one below the other. So can we do that in Power BI? If yes, then what is the query used? So we can use append queries option in Power Query Editor, which is available on the top right hand side pane in the Power Query Editor. Also, if we want to append two tables in Power BI, we can also use the DAX function of union by creating a new table by clicking on new table option. So how do we calculate MTD that is month to date, week num to date and year to date. So we can use DAX formulas to find these MTD, YTD and WTD as given below. So in year to date, we are again using a calculate function on we are trying to find out the total cells. So in this case, calculate sum function used on cells from the cells product table. And then we are using a year to date. We are using basically year option, year cells and created date field and then equals to year today that is based on today's date in today's like this year particular year how do we calculate month to date cell so we can use calculate again the same uh, total cells and this time instead of year we are using month and in week num date we are basically using the same formula and calculate total cells but we are using the week num option we also have the usage of month to date year to date and quarter to date functions already available in DAX, which can be used. And this particular YTD, MTD and QTD function works more like a filter on the calculate function to find out the desired result. Hope you have liked this video. Thank you.